Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Publisher allows you to insert various shapes into your pages. Click the Shapes button in either the Objects button group on the Home tab or the Illustrations button group on the Insert tab within the ribbon. A drop-down menu of all the various shapes you can insert will be displayed. Roll your mouse pointer over the shape you want to insert and click it to select it. Your mouse pointer will then appear as a black crosshair when you place it back over the slide. Decide where you want to place the shape in your page and then click and drag over the area in the page where you want the selected shape to appear. It will be inserted into your page when you release the mouse button. There are a few techniques available that can help you with creating shapes. First, you can hold down the Shift key as you click and drag while drawing a shape to create a perfect version of the selected shape. For example, holding down the Shift key when drawing lines will make the line perfectly straight. You can create perfect circles and squares by using this method in conjunction with either the oval or rectangle shape. If you don't care about setting the specific size of the shape as you insert it, then you can use a different method to insert a selected shape. Using this method, you still start by selecting the shape from the ribbon by using the Shapes button as you normally would. Then hold down the Shift key on the keyboard. Then click once at the place in the page where you want to position the upper left corner of the shape. Publisher will insert a shape with a default size into the position at which you clicked. After inserting a selected shape into your page, the mouse pointer returns to its default behavior and you exit Publisher's drawing mode. If you want to draw several copies of the same shape without having to go back and reselect the same shape from the Shapes button over and over again, you may want to lock Publisher into its drawing mode. To do this, right-click the shape that you want to draw in the Shapes button's drop-down menu instead of clicking it. From the pop-up menu that appears, click the Lock Drawing Mode command. Then you can draw as many instances of the selected shape as you wish. You can cancel the Drawing Mode lock by pressing the Escape key on your keyboard. After you draw a shape, it should appear selected. However, if it is not selected, then click it to select it prior to resizing, moving, or formatting the shape. Once the shape has been selected, you will see the Format tab of the Drawing Tools Contextual tab appear in the ribbon. This tab provides you with formatting options for the selected shape. You will learn how to do that in later lessons. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.